Thank you, Daniel. Up next, we have Melanie Wise, who many of you know. She uh, takes care of a lot of the maintenance on the Ross Wiki, so she's going to be here just um, advising everybody on how to make the best use of it. Okay, hello everyone. I know you are excited about the Ross Wiki. Please, everyone, get excited. All right, great. Um, okay, so how many of you have a login for the Ross Wiki? Please raise your hand. Okay, everyone who doesn't have their hand up, sign up today. The Wiki is editable. A lot of people forget this. It's a Wiki. It's yours. Own it. Change it. Log in. I'm serious. I will find you. Okay, that's good. So I want to show you something. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So we started um, really boosting up the wiki and doing stuff with it um, in 2009 about. And this is M3. And actually, this is probably me, okay? And this is... Um, well, that's probably like 500 edits in, in a week, okay? And that was like the peak, the rock star challenge. Man, we made the wiki happen. Okay, so today we are here in 2000, and we get about 40,000 views on the wiki. And today we only get about 352 edits um, in a week. And so this is... Not much of a rant, but it's more of a call out. Um, there's a lot there. We have over 10,000 wiki pages in the Ross Wiki. And there's a lot of work to be done. And we need Ross users to contribute, to be excited, to get involved. And so you guys have seen this saying, if you see something, say something. I don't think so. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> don't email me. Like, some of you have. You're like, oh, the tutorials are broken, Melanie. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it? It's really important. And so, oh, darn, the audio broke. <laughs> well, in, in the background, you were supposed to hear, the power is yours. OK? So really, I'm serious. Take advantage of the Ross Wiki. OK? Great. OK. So, um, I'm not going to spend too much more time ranting. I'm just going to get into some of the more technical details of the wiki and the tools that we've provided to make it easier. Um, one of the things is when you go to create packages and stacks in the wiki, Ross is a flat namespace, and so is our wiki. So look before you collide, okay? And be specific about your package name. Please don't make my utils package or Fruity Pops common package, because that doesn't describe all the work that you're doing. It doesn't put a good name on it, and no one can find it. Ross is about code reuse. Don't, don't make your um, code invalid because it's obscure. Make it useful. Make it findable, OK? And try not to use acronyms. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> OK. Oops. And if you insist on using acronyms, Please document it. Put relevant keywords in there. Make it findable. Make it useful. Um, also with documentation, fill out the stack or package manifest. When someone finds your, your, your package, they should know what it does. You should put it in there. And don't create a wiki page if you're not going to document it, because they can use Ross Browse. Ross Browse indexes the manifest and the stack.xml. They can get that blurb. you know. And if you just create a wiki page, it's just one of the 10,000 pages that all of us have to maintain. So if you're going to make a wiki page, put some real documentation in it. And also, we have a style guide for the wiki. How many of you knew that? OK, that's good. That's good to see. If you didn't know that, it's there. OK, so let me um, just use TF as an example of acronyms and things like that. So. TF is probably one of the most powerful tools in ROS. Um, but until I went and massaged the search engine on ROS, no one could find it if they typed in transforms, coordinate systems, transformations, because it's a two-letter acronym that is not really searchable. But 
it has great documentation. And even though, it, this is why I don't have acronyms, but even though it is an acronym, it provides a lot of great, valuable information, and it's a great tool in ROS. So I'm, I'm just warning you, but it's still great, and some acronym packages can be great. Okay, so, uh, so in, in the ROS wiki, we have lots of tools to help you be awesome, to help you take some of the burden off of you know, documentation, getting code samples, writing tutorials, and things like that. So I'm just gonna go over a few of the better tools in, or the more powerful tools in the ROS wiki. And there's a page um, called Wiki Macros to help you <coughs> learn more about these things, but I'm just gonna walk you through the big ones. So the git tag code. Um, if you have a tutorial code that you want to make available to someone and explain to them how it works, you can use the git tag code macro to basically uh, fill in the, the code block on the wiki page and then show the t code lines and then allow you to break up that code by its tags and put um, interject comments in the wiki page so that you can change the code in the repository but still have the tags. Um, and so I'm gonna show you an example of this um, in, oh no, it hates me. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's weird. Um, okay. Maybe I can. Am I like hallucinating? All right, here we go. So in the tutorials, um, we use it a lot. So here, you with that one call, it provides the URI for the <coughs> tutorial code so that someone can go to it immediately. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I'm doomed. Yeah. <laughs> I hate technology. Okay. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go back to the slideshow, and I'm sorry I can't show you it live. Okay, so you can put tags in your comments, basically that you can grab into the wiki, and it'll show you the code blocks so you can describe them. Uh, the version. Uh, macro. Basically, it allows you to show buttons on the wiki page for the different versions of, um, or different releases of ROS, so that it makes it really obvious to the people using your code if there's different versions available or different API documentation for each revision of the ROS release. Also, if you put a release name in um, the version macro, if instead of just leaving it blank, it actually pops up this really nice, like, new in Diamondback. Use it. It's exciting. Um, I get excited. Um, so then we did some black voodoo magic on the wiki. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but it's there, and it's really useful. So clear silver is um, kind of a meta language that's out there. It's not well supported, but we decided to use it to create um, kind of parsers for programming in the wiki. So uh, the Node API uh, kind of parser allows you to put in, you know, your um, your topic name, the message type, and the description. It formats it really nicely, so everything looks uniform across the wiki. Everyone has a good understanding of how things should be formatted. It does it auto automatically for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and basically, when you use that parser, you give it the location of the, the parser wiki page, which allows you to actually construct any type of parser you want. I mean, you could come up with the My University's Awesome Parser and put it in there and use it to format all of your university's pages without having to worry about, like, 
willow nerds in the background making other voodoo macros for you. You can make macros yourself. Um, and that also includes templates. So uh, you guys have probably written tutorials, or some of you have, and we have a tutorial template that makes all the tutorials look uniform. It has linking from previous tutorials to for and forward to the next tutorial. And it shows the description and the links, and you know uh, it makes a nice searchable uh, template for you. And that actually is also using Clear Silver. And we have this macro called include the CS template, the Clear Sil Silver template. And all you have to do is give it the location of the template. Like this is the actual call that's in the in the wiki uh, syntax to, to load the tutorial template. So you can also create templates on your own. So if you want to add new interesting templates, do magical voodoo, I, I support you. I think it's awesome. And I think it's good because uniformity across the wiki makes it easier for our users to engage, for new users to get involved and feel like they have an understanding of how the wiki is laid out and that they can um, have a clear understanding of where I should go next, what I should do next. And this is a tutorial. Like that's That was one of the first things that we realized is that when we were writing tutorials, people were like, well, is this a tutorial? Is it not a tutorial? But we made this template to make all the tutorials look uniform. And now when you land on a tutorial, you know if you're looking at a tutorial. Um, there's also the Seesaw macro, which is really useful um, because it allowed you to toggle content visibility. Uh, and we use this all the time in TurtleBot to put in things like, hey, I don't know how to use SSH. So the user can click on the SSH help link and it pops up the code right there in the page. They're not linked away to some place where they can't get back to your tutorial. It just shows them immediately, like, this is how you use SSH. And I know you're like, what? You have to put in, you have to use SSH? Yes, we actually do. And so this is really helpful. Um, and so if you're, if you're trying to reach out to a user on the Ross Wiki, this can really be useful and it allows you to easily uh, give help, hidden help, and not have to expose it to everyone else who's like, SSH, really, guys? Um, linking. Linking is, uh, is good. Link to every place. But um, try not to do hard links. And so we've provided a couple different linking macros so that you can link without actually having the full path link to you know, the API docs or whatever. So you just put the package, the name for the message, um, the repo, the package for KForge or for track. Um, and if you like Lurker, we also have a Lurker linked macro. And if, and if you do want other, um, other types of macros, um, Moin Moin has a, a, a clear documentation process on how to write macros. And if you say, hey, I have this awesome macro that I wrote, and you put it on ROS users, we will probably add it to the wiki backend for you. I will probably log in and be like, dump. And magically, you will have a new wiki macro, because that's how awesome I am, because I care about you. <laughs> and I want you to care about my wiki, or our wiki. I shouldn't say that. It's our wiki. It's all yours. Take it. <laughs> um, and so lastly, uh, <laughs> one of the things I've been trying to do to uh, really help people get like to the short answer fast is something called ROS promotions. So you may have seen this when you search for certain key terms like transformation. Um, I have little ads that are very specific to ROS. Um, and it's like, hey, you don't know what you're looking for. I can help you find it. Um, so Google search, which is actually the back end search for the wiki, allows you to create promotions based on um, images or packages or stuff like that. And if you want a ROS promotion, there's clear documentation on the developers page for Google for how to create custom search um, promotions. And it's an XML format, and if you send it to me, I'll just add it. Um, I'm really that open to promoting different packages in ROS. And I think it's really valuable to shortcut the, the hard you know, route to finding the good software. Um, and it's really hard with 10,000 pages. And so if we can do these little things to get people to find the right tools fast, then we're doing everyone a service in the community. Um, so that's about all I have. Um, I, I just want to reiterate, if you, if you are new to ROS, get involved, sign up, log into the wiki, 
edit things, make things better, because it's going to take all of us as a community to make the wiki better. Okay? Any questions? What do you mean, bots? Uh, okay. Um, okay. So the question was, how do the maintainers of the wiki uh, feel about bots? Um, we're pretty open to automated documentation. Uh, uh, bots generating automated documentation, we're pretty open to that. The thing is, is that we have to be careful with those scripts um, because. I accidentally made a script once that added white space, or no, stripped out white space from wiki pages automatically. Uh, that was not awesome. Uh, <laughs> good thing it didn't run on too many pages, but um, but so we are we're open to it. But uh, small bugs, and I'm good at introducing bugs, can can cause big problems. So, but. If you come up with some tool and, and you can demonstrate that it's going to be awesome, I will be there like, yeah, let's do it, David. OK? Yeah. Um, so the David's question was, uh, other wikis have better tools or more tools for saying this section needs editing or uh, maintaining pages. Uh, yes, we are kind of on uh, an older tool for wikis. and. I think, in general, we would like to move to a newer wiki system. It's just think about that community effort. And when we do decide it, it will be a big community effort. And we're getting close to that point. Any other questions? OK. Um, the question was, if I develop a new packager stack, how do I set up a ROS wiki? So the, the important thing is, is that if you have a set of packages or stacks in a repo and you want to get it indexed on the ROS wiki, you should announce it on ROS users and it'll get added to the indexer. There is a caveat to that. It needs to build. It needs to build on a regular basis with ROS doc. Uh, it doesn't help us because it, if it doesn't build because we're not going to fix your code and it will break the auto build of raw stock. So um, make sure that if you're going to try and get your code indexed, that it builds. Um, uh, what the question is, what do you do if you have to, if you need to create more paths from a wiki page? Oh, OK. Uh, say you have a page or a tutorial that needs to be indexed in two places or shown in two places, like in two tutorial um, areas. So do a lot of cross-linking. Another thing is, is there's an include macro in the, in the wiki that allows you to include um, content from other places in, um, directly shows it. yeah, and directly shows it. Yeah. Um, definitely check out the wiki macros page. It has a lot of these other more general concepts for wikis as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.